This is Dr. B, and in this video, we're going to learn to convert from grams to molecules. So let's start with an example. Let's say we have 27.34 grams of H2O, of water. And we want to get that to molecules. How many molecules are in 27.34 grams of water? So to do that, you can't go from grams to molecules directly. You start out with grams, you divide by the molar mass, then you go to moles. Once you have those moles, you can multiply those by Avogadro's number, and that will get you to molecules. We sometimes call that particles. We mean atoms, ions, or molecules. So let's try this. So we start out with grams. These are our grams right here. And we divide by the molar mass of H2O, water. And that's 18.0 grams per mole. If you need help finding that, there's a link at the end of this video. Because we have grams on top and here, they cancel out. That's going to leave us with moles. So we divide and get 1.52 moles of water. So now we've got moles. We're right here. And all we have to do is multiply by Avogadro's number, and that'll give us particles, molecules in this case. So we have our 1.52 moles. That's what we found earlier when we changed from grams to moles. Now we're multiplying by Avogadro's number here. So when we multiply, we have moles on top and the bottom. They're going to cancel out. That's going to leave us with molecules. That's what we want. We multiply and get 9.13 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So in 27.34 grams, we have 9.13 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So pause and give this one a try. 3.5 grams of oxygen. Convert that to molecules. You should have gotten 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of O2. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video to this exact problem. This is Dr. B discussing how we convert grams to molecules. Thanks for watching.